So, James, now that we've been a couple of months away from the end of the regular season, you being a walk-on, talk a little bit about what that experience was like. So, yeah, I mean, I guess just as a walk-on for the team here, like, we're supposed to, I mean, we're not really treated any differently than the scholarship players. I mean, everyone has an equal chance to play. It's, I mean, that's just how Coach Jank does things. But as far as my experience has gone, it's definitely been more of uh, doing practice, doing, being, being there for practice, being like a, a tool to use in different scenarios in practice, especially last year when we had only 10 guys. Mm -hmm. So myself and Jonathan and Leo, who's both of them are not here anymore, but we were the three walk-ons last year and we were playing every, basically every play in practice because we were so shorthanded. So this year I'm kind of excited to see, I guess, how I'm utilized and how the rest of, uh, like with the rest of the team. What were some of the takeaways you had from last year about areas of your game that you need to improve on, work on? Yeah, um, just the biggest takeaway was just like the speed of the game, probably for me. I mean, I uh, like when I was in high school, obviously, the, the speed of the game is just so much slower. Things go slower. You have the ball in your hands. You have way, way more time to make decisions. But in college, it's it's got to be like that time has to be cut in half, basically. And so that was just the biggest thing for me is just playing over the summer, like playing pickup. And then also just working on my athleticism and getting stronger too, just to match up with some of these older guys. What are some of your thoughts, being some of the incoming freshmen, the new classes coming in for SMU? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm really excited about them. They're really, really smart guys is what I like. My first impression is they all have really high basketball IQ mm -hmm. and they all like have a hunger to learn. So, I mean, they're always in the, in the coach's office watching film and stuff. Um, because the hardest thing for them is also adapting to the speed of the game, not only just that, but also the different sets, the different, the different things we do at SMU. And I think besides that, just their passion for the game is pretty like, it, it immediately stands out to you. So I'm excited to see how they do. One of the cool things that's going on at SMU is that year after year now of having the kind of success they've had, tradition is really starting to sit in and it's easy to kind of transfer that to let people know they're becoming a part of something where there are expectation levels. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, I feel like this is probably like the second or third class now where you're coming in as a freshman and you're expected immediately to perform and step in. Um, because, I mean, if you think about it, like last year Deshaun had to play lots of minutes. This year we're going to have to have freshmen play a lot of minutes, and there are high expectations, obviously, especially in coming off of a 30-win season, you know, highest in school history. So, but also at the same time, I think the main focus is not, you know, we need to win as many games as possible. We need to, the main focus, at least from, I believe, to be from the coach's perspective, is we need to develop the freshmen as much as we can now so that by the time they're juniors and seniors, they can be the leaders of the team and bring, bring along the new freshmen. So I'm excited to see how that goes. Okay, James, best of luck. Have a great season. All right. Thank you.